DM. Yes. Uh, looking at uh, Veth and Jester. Uh, Caleb takes a Laura staff and grinds it through phosphorus in his hand and casts Wall of Fire between them. Casts Wall of Fire between them? Yeah. Okay. Between us and Trent. Between us and Trent. Damage side facing Trent. Okay. There is just enough room for is that. Is Trent in the room with us? He's coming He's, down, he the is coming down the staircase okay. now. So it would be sheer against me. And then we're backing up against the, we'd be up against the barrier. And probably. radiating out damage side toward Trent. So as he looks to you and says, interesting, your first reaction is to is. create this wall of fire. Yeah. Well, I guess let's roll initiative, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no. Trent goes first, because he rolled pretty damn high on his uh, initiative there. And the wall <laughs> disappears. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Things. Those, those, they were pretty. Yeah. Did we hear him speak? You couldn't hear it through the <laughs> of the flames around you, but you assume, as you've seen it happen many before, many times before, that the wall has been dispelled. Okay. As he continues to nonchalantly walk down the stairs in your direction. The flames kind of vanishing around him as he comes into the very, very top of the chamber. Well, I am quite curious as to what brings you here. I don't know if we're still in uh, the order, but I throw um, firebolt at him. Oh God. Okay. As soon as the spell is, uh, the wall is down, I'm not done. Okay, so yeah, so that that would be his turn was dispelling and then walking down. Yeah. You take your turn. Yeah. Go ahead and roll for uh, roll an attack on him. Yeah, firebolt. Maybe we should talk. <laughs> I think we should maybe talk. He seems like he wants to talk. <clears throat> no. Uh, that is a seventeen to hit. Seventeen is not hit. Does not hit. Okay. Smashes into the wall behind him. So as the bolt goes flying, you can see like you react out, and as you fling it forward, he kind of almost like puts a hand up for a second, and it, it seems like it should impact, and then just kind of glides off to the side and hits the stone staircase mm -hmm. behind him before dissipating. Well, I will watch, I will watch Caleb's two spells just get totally <laughs> bungholed by <Yeah>. this guy. <laughs> and I'll be like, taste my magic! <laughs> good, good call out. And, <laughs> and I will cast Phantasmal Force on him. Okay. Because I'm a high-level magic user. It's true. <laughs> What's the spell DC? Uh, Sixteen intelligence. And, and it's a it's intelligence saving throw. Yes. You got it. Modifier. No, did he roll a one? Natural twin. Oh. Oh. That was not as good as. <laughs> His eyes kind of just shift over to you. Oh no, my heart. I'm going to reach down and, and grab Veth's shoulder <clears throat> and reach forward and grab the back of Caleb and I'm just gonna try to word of recall again. My last big spell. Okay. He tasted my magic. I'd look, but I believe Did you, believe you. Did you was that a counterspell? It was a counterspell. Counterspell to you. You have to say counterspell so I can counterspell you. Right, I'm, I'm getting to it. Oh, God. Um, all right, so at what level do you counterspell? Third. Third level? Yeah. Go ahead and roll. Oh, oh no, you rolled a 20. Did yeah. you roll a 20 again? He did. Of course. I rolled a natural 20. Oh! No way! Oh! I think we broke, we broke Dungeons and Dragons. It's we broke the game. Broken? <laughs> no, we have to restart Win? the game. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out and blow on it. <laughs> what happens? Better choices. Uh, <laughs> what happens? So, uh, natural 20, on, he rolled a natural 20 to counterspell yours. Interesting. Um, what is the. Oh yeah. It's the protocol. <laughs> so. The counterspell. Order of operations here. <laughs> yeah. As he steps down, you attempt to cast a spell and it dissipates. Sure. It looks over. You begin to 
make your incantation, grabbing your friends, begin to, to, to finish casting the spell as the energy begins to gather around and this green cloak of the Traveler begins to kind of swoosh around to grab all three of you. And Trent kind of looking over at you as this is happening goes, oh, this is extremely rude. I'm just asking some questions. This wasn't expected. And as he puts his hand up, you see this blur in the air, the, the striking spear of, of unraveling Arcana just jutting from his hand that's reaching towards the spell as you react and counter it with your own. And as they both hit, it's like two waves of similar energy hitting and then canceling out nothing. Absence. Everything that he released fails. And as the cloak begins to swirl around to grab both of you, he goes, Good luck. You taught me well. It's the last thing you say before. <gasps> oh, shit! <sighs> holy, holy buttholes. <laughs> holy shit. Tell me you took a picture of that dice, homie. Yeah, I gotta send oh, it around. Okay. Oh, oh my on. god. I feel like I've been doing calisthenics. It was actually a three, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We've been lying about the dice rolls That's for wild. like years. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. That, legitimately, on this dice, rolled two 20s in, in a row, row oh. and, and then, then you rolled a 20. That That's is. fucking crazy. Yeah, save it for the annals of history. Oh <laughs> my god. I can feel the roots of my hair. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, Laura, your hair looks very bed tossed and amazing right now. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> You vanish. <laughs> <laughs> How many texts? How many texts? A lot of texts. 137 oh. for seconds of fun. All week, all week, all week, all week, all week. Well, that went off without a hitch. <laughs> That's exactly, we have no idea what happened in there, but from our end, <laughs> perfection. Yeah, well, we'll see. did pretty good. Yeah, we'll it was very solid. Yeah. See. I super murdered a guy. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like kind of, I don't know if I want to ever do that again. Kind of par for course. Yeah. Sometimes you need to do what you, you know you have to do. Things happen. Um. I mean, I sort of killed a guy too, and I wasn't with you, so there's oh. that. Oh, you you killed a guy? Did? Yeah, it was real brutal. Uh, but you were up on the tower. Oh, someone was up there. Uh huh. Did you give him the quick him. neck snap? <laughs> no. Nope. Beat me Did you it. give him the old shove off the tower, quick death? I thought about it. A garot around the garot. Gar gar I think I should out. buy one. Yeah. Did you punch him in the solar plexus and cause his heart to explode? Uh, oh, fuck, I can do that, and I didn't. No, Where, I... Mm. You, which yeah. way did you go? You know those vials of acid you gave me like a long time yeah, ago? They're, they're low-grade acid, yeah. He was kind of um, <laughs> like an open-mouth snorer type of a thing, so it kind of just like... You I'll fed him the poisons, the, the slow acid. Yeah, that's wow, I was like really in hoping his that mouth. visual wasn't going to be You true. put the acid in his mouth, yeah. and then you snapped his neck to like mercy kill him? I did after about 60 seconds, because he wasn't dead yet. That, that, come on. that acid is good for like taking rust off of, off of a blade after like four or five days of soaking. You poured CLR in his mouth and let him suffer. Oh. Apparently good for killing guards, too. I uh, walk up to Beauregard, and, and, and I'm not looking, I'm just thousand yards staring at the ground, but I just sort of pat her on the shoulder. <gasps> oh my god, what if you two got, like, real murder happy because of your eyes? I didn't want to kill him, he just woke up, and I didn't see him, and he happened to be there. And... He was sleeping?! I didn't kill him until he started to wake up, and I felt the tower shake. It was oh. the tower shaking that woke him up. All right, all right, all right. Everybody made it out. We made it. Everything's okay. We're gonna get Trent. We'll go back, we'll get him. Just, not now. About this time, a familiar voice creeps back oh into your God, mind. Oh my God, this guy! Traces of dunamancy left in this wake. I have my theories on where you might have learned this. Well, now we're both double dealing. Why do you run as opposed to talk? If you're worried about Dorogna, well, she's not much of a worry anymore.
In every barrel of apples, there is one with a rotten worm in it. I am that worm. You guys, he's probably talking to Trent right now. I was going to he's stop. talking to Trent? Confused. Yeah, he's been doing this all afternoon. Maybe we need to go somewhere safe. Hey, uh, Stormlord. It's, uh, it's me, Yasha, your old, uh, pal. Um, I... We're in a bit of a pickle. Um, I just, I, 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 well, for starters, I, I went on a date with Bo. I don't need to tell you these things. Um, I think I need your help. Um, I, that dream, um, I want to be able to help my friends, and I, I, I think I, I, I've given away one of my swords to this woman named Kima, but she gave me one. That seems very cool. Um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I just... I don't know if you have a purpose for me, but... I would like to be your... I would like to be your champion. Anyway, um, I'm not used to being able to have conversations like this with you. This is very different than how Jester or Caduceus talks, but um, please, I, I would like to be the avatar of the Stormlord, whatever that even means. I'll walk back to the group. All right. We so are... we're awkwardly waiting outside of people's doors. <laughs> the second being floor, pretty yeah. useful. <laughs> well, for, for a handful of minutes as these conversations are happening. Yash and I just like make out in between people walking by. <laughs> and, like, just like ping pong down the right. way. Just making out. Right, the, uh, <laughs> the, yeah. the horny teenager not wasting sure. any moment. Yeah, yeah sure. I get it. Well, Messing up there. all the picture frames. What about this weird staircase? We'll, we'll be safe staircase here. Staircase will be fun. <laughs> yeah, go under there. Let's try it. Yeah. It's kind of uncomfortable, but it's kind of fun. Yeah, no one's in here until after the ball team leaves. It's fine. <laughs> no. You are looking like you're helping bust tables, which, <laughs> as you're doing that, uh, Carlos from behind the bar kind of glances over and goes, puts. Just done it and starts walking over towards you. Oh, shit. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Which. There we go. Hey, uh, excuse me. Uh, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm new. I'm new here. I'm just sort of. I'm uh, responsible for all the hires of the establishment. I have not met you before. If you are going, right, right. I need you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> just some weirdo who started busing. Yeah, people. this dude just walks in and just starts cleaning tables and taking shit. Do we even fill out the application? Yeah, are you are you hiring? <laughs> what? Are you? Not anymore. You can't just walk into an establishment That's and start fair. pretending like you work there. Who you think you are, Steven Spielberg? <laughs> Deep cut. Deep cut. Yeah. I'll, I'll just. Uh, I'll, yeah, uh, how did I get in here? And I'll just. <laughs> Start walking the way I came from. <laughs> None of us some people. <laughs> back to the stairs. <laughs> you head back to the stairs, or you head yep, up? Yep, I'm totally fucked. <laughs> As you head to the stairs, he goes, ah, 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 ah. The front door? Oh, there, yeah. <laughs> Gets turned around so easily. 
I start walking towards the exit. They both begin kind of heading towards the door. I I'm a step in front of the door. Yes. Door shut. I reach behind me, click, click. Just lock the door. Just want a conversation. We are very, it's, anything I'd say is gonna be threatening. It's been a lot today and I'm <laughs> frankly tired of hurting people. Some of the other patrons are like, um, what's what's going on? And they start talking. Uh, what, uh, what's, what, what's going on? And Carlos like, um, did I ask why the door is closed? Carlos, dear, don't worry about it. Come, I need to talk to you. It's important. Make a deception check, with advantage. So many dice. I know, oh, I was looking Get for my advantage dice. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. That was a ride. Uh, 25. He's still looking confused over there, but begins to, to walk with you. Can I, can I get you a drink? Do you need a refill? No drink. Um, the other one looks to the other figure. You see that they have kind of different heights, and the smaller one just kind of leans forward and goes, Look, there is no conflict to be had here. We are just trying to convey a message to Bren. To Bren. And at this point, you recognize the voice speaking in a Dwendalian Zemnian accent. A female oh. voice. Female. Something you've heard before at a dinner table. Mm hmm. We have been dispatched to cut you all off. We are here to let you know in the short time we have that you need to go. How quick? Where? Anywhere hmm. but here. If there's anyone important to you, leave with them. They both kind of look a little nervous, and the other one, the bigger one's kind of looking a little impatient. <laughs> the smaller one goes. Trent is um, frustrated. And beyond this brief little string. The most we can help you with without putting ourselves in too much danger. We were never here. And I hope we don't meet again. You weren't sent by Trent. We were. Hmm. But we haven't arrived yet. But you are currently following the two of them. As they exit, they make their way through the opal archways. You can see heading kind of in a northwestern direction to a familiar district. Um, actually, I don't know if you were present for the event, the party that took place. The party? Yeah, were you? Yeah, I was there. You were there. Yeah. I was trying to remember which, which part members of the group were. I locked separate. somebody on a balcony. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so, so yeah, yeah, not yeah, not that, not that, that fish. yes, That's right. not that house, but that same region. There is, one building that looks somewhat officious, but also quite elegant. And they both head to that area, and as they step through an alley, you watch as the illusions fade, and it's back to Astrid and Eidwolf. Though their attire is still um, kind of a similar presentation as to what you saw in the uh, Lava Chateau. As they begin to approach the exterior of this, you see the door open, and it looks like another individual, though wearing a uh, similar attire, but having the same Volstrucker tattoos across their arms. It looks to be a uh, an older woman. Um, looks to be half-elf, possibly in her late 40s or so. And to the right of her, a familiar red-robed Trent Ikathon. Oh, shit. It's easy. Fuck. 
all of our suspicious neurotic beliefs were real. And we're like three blocks away? Three blocks away. Oh. Or, yeah, about a. Paranoid if they're really looking for it. We're not wait, paranoid. Wait, what was it? What was it? What was Trent, it? Trent is Trent three blocks Island. away. Trent is here. Or something three blocks from the chateau. So wait, who's who's the other woman? Also, car- older member. You've never seen this woman. Never seen this woman. Another Valstrucker, female elf. And you see, as, as they come bolting out of the structure, you can see some other uh, members of Concordia and Guard kind of following behind, hurriedly, looking confused. Um, as he kind of just rushes by and heads towards the, edge of the gate, raises his hand, the gates open, and you see the two of them approach and kind of give a bow, and they begin having a conversation rather rapidly. Okay, okay, I will. Ah. You're still in the alley, like like you like they just left the alley to head in towards the kind of front courtyard, uh, fenced off area at the front of this larger officious structure. Okay, I'll go back a block, get getting away from them. Okay. Um, and as soon as I, I'll just run back. <laughs> I'll, okay. I'll just run back as fast as I can. Okay. We're already. I just won't stop. I just won't We've been playing this stop. for years. It's make believe. <laughs> I'm so scared. Yeah, my heart is <laughs> my, my cardiovascular like crazy. disagrees. Yeah. Me too. This is what I've worried about since the first day we set foot in Nicodranas and it is happening. Yeah. Yeah. At yeah. least they can't magically track us. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. We have, well. Us? Did, was it long enough? For, Were they with? Was it an hour? Did they have long enough with the necklaces that they? they well, they didn't. don't know who they are. We'll find out for who? As far for as our, the, family, family members. members. For Ruby. Your family members? No, They're not us. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I don't They'd know if they to, know who they are. They, they mean, might not they know who they are. Well, we'll see. They know who they are. There's they no know. They know way. because Astrid and Edwolf said that they talked to the guard left mm-hmm. behind in Fergessen, who linked us to here. Yeah. Oh my god, let's go to a break. I gotta break, be so bad. Break. Yep. Yes. <laughs> go to break. We'll be back here in a few break. minutes. We'll okay. see you guys shortly. Oh, shit. What is he just like oh, throws it in the ground. Oh. The glass case shatters open. The emblem scatters across the ground. The metal thing kind of rolls and stops against some of the broken glass. And he kind of. Ah. Do you have any knowledge of You did that. <laughs> yes, yes, it was all me. Maybe. Hands it to you. Can you tell me anything about it, or is it up to me? Well, no, it was given to him by someone who jumped from place to place. The master said it was sort of um, an emergency. I think we have 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe. Sick. We can try. Can you just look at it and see if you glean anything just from first sight? Uh, it's a metal case, yeah. but it, you do see uh, it has a. Is it a scroll case? Scroll? It, it, it looks too small for a scroll case, but you see it's, it's not a solid cylinder. When you pick it up, you can see lines along the edges that do make you believe that it could be opened. Okay. Let's open it. No time. You, you don't quite see where to open it. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Uh, <laughs> make an investigation check if you want. Uh, or you can do it either one. D4. <laughs> 15. again. 15. You have no idea how this works. Gimme! You two, come. Gimme! Oh. All right, I will Four. I will try to see if I can use some some thieves tools to just sort of find an edge and, and pry pry aside or I see if I can. Backseat driver over Veth's shoulder and give her advantage. Okay, make, make it, you can, if, if you're helping have advantage on the investigation check, the DC is higher since this is another attempt, but go for it. You also blessed me or Yeah, something? I'm giving you bless because. Guidance. Or guidance. 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 Um, what am I doing? Investigation? With advantage. And advantage with bless. Mm-hmm. 29. 29. The two sides of it, you realize, have these very faint little, like, pinhole buttons. And as you kind of discover them, you push in both, and it snaps open. And on the inside, you see a, a piece of vellum that is wound very tightly, and like a very, very compact scroll of some kind. I'll unfurl it. The baby scroll. <laughs> Caleb leans over. Is As you un- unfurl it, it uh, it's. What languages do you speak? Just goblin and halfling. Okay, yes, yeah, so you do not recognize the language. Um, Sylvan, celestial. Nope. Deep speech, undercommon, halfling, dwarven. Nope. Thieves can't. Abyssal, celestial. Orc. Nope. 
Elvish, Giant, and Sylvan? Nope. Infernal? Nope. Ford? Come on. <laughs> you never learned a second language? I sit down and start working on Comprehend Languages, which will take me uh, 10 to do. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think, I think we should I'll pass. As, as you're unrolling it still, it is very long. Like, the, the text continues, and as you kind of reach this lengthy, almost like three and a half foot element, and it comes to an end, something falls out of the final bit, a oh. long metal rod that ting, ping, 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 hits the ground and has this kind of uh, gentle, fiery, kind of reddish ember glow to it. Is it a tuning fork? Do you know how to use this, Caleb? I, 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 I'm busy making sure that I can read it, but okay. I have a suspicion, and it doesn't seem fun. But um, I'm just gonna show it to my mom and see if she knows the language. <laughs> As you he's know currently what it says? Uh, I unfortunately do not know this. Uh, oh, okay. It's very nice handwriting. It is very beautiful. Yeah. yeah. They won't be able to find them. In the ball. Oh. Just for a little while. <laughs> Wait, do this. <laughs> Wait, what if some of us went in the ball and then we could carry it as an object through this plane shifting thing? <laughs> That's not actually. Both of those how are good ideas. Yes. I don't remember how to get out of the ball. And the problem is, is that you had to make it like to an time exit. Bending the stuff? time bending stuff. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Well, that well, kid. Well, like two years pass. Oh. <laughs> weeks. It could be weeks. Well, here. Well, it, if you're in the ball, time passes quickly. Time, it feels normal to you. And remember, we how it's passing. But <laughs> Correct. If you're, if, you're out of the ball, if you're out of the ball, it goes quick. So, what, so a person who's clutching the ball and trying to hide it out in this theoretical circumstance, for them, what would have been thirty minutes could be like thirty Eight seconds to, to a minute oh. for whoever's in so there. So, really, only a couple oh. people need to go in the ball so that we can carry those people through to the next thing, and then we can get those people out of the ball? Yeah, but we know when how you, to get people out When you went into the ball, you, you know how to get out from the inside, so somebody would have to, go in would there. either have a spell to get them out, or to find one of the exits that you're aware of. <laughs> you hear, excuse me, I'm sorry, you have to go. I'm, you can come in here. I'm opening it, I'm, I'm retracing yep. my steps I'll with the I'll send a quick message to Wentzforth saying, Wentzforth, thank you so much for this. We will f we will make make this up to you, and then I guess we go. Make an investigation check. Uh, that is a twenty-four. Twenty-four. What are you investigating? Actually, you would have advantage on this because you had done this Use before. The... Yeah. Oh, this is the ball. Less. Guiding, Less. Said, but I'm guiding you. Guiding me. Well, if I'm allowed the guidance, the highest roll will be 27. 27, okay. You only have to say that in advance. Um, as Because you kind of trace the elements here, and there are multiple solutions to this in some degree, but the one that you know, and at least will bring you to a familiar space, you go ahead and start shifting the things. Um, eventually the ball clicks in, and at that point, and you would know that it is a, it is a radial thing from, yeah. from where it happened before. So for those who are not going into the sphere, you would know as he's doing this to step back. Oh. Do I need to step back from it? Well, who, step, whoever, whatever, it's, it's a radius around the sphere. Hand me that fucking thing. I toss it to Ford and say, <laughs> turn that dial on the end and then press in on the bottom. Ready? Be back, safe. Back three, right? Boy. Boom, yep. boom, boom. Them two? All right. Look, watch just this. Up. One, two, three. Yeah. You. <laughs> Just us. Bye. Us three. Yep. Us three. Yes. Okay. All right. Do it. Open Bye. the back. Open I the, did open it. Right, open the door. Open the door. I grab the ball and pull mm -hmm. it under the ball. Go. The okay, ball. So oh, yeah. I will use the scroll instantaneously to open the gate. Okay. It is a six second casting time. Okay. Um, oh my can, god. I think I can steal a few things from the room. <laughs> so as you as as you complete the final bit of the puzzle, it clicks in. The light brightens up and you, there is a sudden flash. And everyone who is in the proximity of Ford, who had chosen to go into the sphere, are gone. And the ball just kind of ting, 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 I run onto over the ground. I grab the ball. I'm holding onto the ball. All right. Um, and you are currently going through the scroll. Yes. Reading it, reading it. As you're reading it, the fork is heating up and heating up and heating up. And it almost begins to, to burn your hand as you're kind of like pulling it down. But it's a pain you're familiar with. And as you go to complete the spell, the door entryway kind of opens up, and you see they're kind of darting in. You see Astrid. Oh. 
who looks over and kind of hand out. You 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 know the 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 presence here. This this is this is the the at the ready for a counter spell. Hmm. You finish reading. The rod begins to glow brightly. And all of you feel yourselves being pulled from this reality as her hand goes limp. Oh, she let us go. Again. It's like Rolf in Sound of Music. <laughs> <laughs> and. Because that's a fun cutting point. I'll go ahead and admit there for tonight. Oh, where are we? Where? Child and mother and father in tow. Rock and roll. Fantastic. Great. Well, we'll pick up from there next episode. <laughs> Thank you all for joining us. We love you very much. And is it Thursday yet? Good night.